setting up a sales-oriented YouTube video. Hey there everyone! We just walk you through the steps necessary to create and optimize a high converting YouTube channel for your business. And now we are ready to move to the next step. That's right! We're about to show you how to set up a sales-oriented video. We know you've been anticipating this lesson because video is where the meat is and your expectations are right because we are going to show you not only how to upload the video but also how to apply the optimizations that will help you attract viewers and convert. Getting started. Let's start off by uploading your video. By this point, you should have a video ready to publish. So go to the YouTube homepage while logged into your channel and click on the profile menu button. Next, click on the YouTube Studio option in the menu. Once on the YouTube Studio dashboard, click on the Create button. Then click on the Upload Video option. Now you are going to click on Select File. Locate the video file that you are going to upload from your computer and double click on it to start the upload. The video will start uploading and you can continue the job by customizing it and adding your optimizations. Customizing the video. Ok, let's start by composing the video title in the title field. Here, you are going to type the title of your video. Don't try to be too original. Simply describe the content of the video and add the keywords or search terms that best describe that content well, like we're doing in this example. As you can see, we added one of the top search terms we found during our keyword research. And we added the name of our business at the end of the title to differentiate it from the rest of the videos on the results page. Alright, now it is time to compose the video description in the description field below. Again, the secret here is to add a brief summary of the content in your video filled with keywords and search terms. Here, you are not as restricted by space. So we recommend you add from 3 to 5 keywords and search terms, the ones that are most relevant to the video. It is also important that you add an action URL with a call to action at the end of the description. That way, you can instruct viewers to click on the URL to discover a product or offer at a given point during the video and they'll simply have to scroll down a bit and click while they're still engaged. Now click on Upload Thumbnail to upload a custom thumbnail for your video. Always add custom thumbnails to your videos instead of using a segment of your video as thumbnail. Alright, now select the No, It's Not Made for Kids option under Audience and click on More Options. Here are the additional configurations that you are going to do. First, insert your keywords and search terms in the Tags field. Next, select the language of your video. Now click on the Category menu button and select the correct category of your video. Done? Ok, then let's click on Next to move to the next step. Now it is time to add video elements to your video. There are two types of video elements you can add. End screen are elements that you can add at the end of the video and cards are elements that you can add during the video. These elements are on screen buttons that you can use as CTAs to encourage viewers to complete an action during or at the end of the video. Let's show you a quick example. Let's add a subscribe CTA and a recommended video card at the end of the video. For this, click on the Add button corresponding to Add an End Screen. Once on the End Screen's window, click on Plus Element. Next, click on the Subscribe option. The editor will insert the Subscribe card at a point near the end of your video, but you can select a different time. Now click again on Plus Element and select Video. Now select the Best for Viewer option and click on Save. Awesome job! Once you are done adding your video elements, click on Next to continue. On the following window, select the Public option, then click on the Publish button. And that'll be it! You can copy the video link provided by YouTube to share your video on your other social channels. But you can hold on to this for a bit because we'll be showing you how to share and embed your video in a couple of upcoming lessons. Stay tuned.
embedding your YouTube sales video on a blog post. Hey there friends, you just uploaded your sales oriented video to YouTube where you were guaranteed a steady stream of views and clicks and now it is time to expand that reach to other channels. There are a variety of channels where you can promote your video and we'll start by showing you how to add it on a blog post. This will expose your video to web visitors that reach your blog content through search and it is easy to do. Let's do this. Getting your video embed code. You have to start by getting the video embed code. This is a code that you can use to insert your video on a blog post page and you can get it straight from your channel dashboard. So let's go to the dashboard first. Start on the YouTube homepage and click on the profile menu button. Next, click on the YouTube Studio option in the menu. Once on the channel dashboard, click on the videos tab on the left sidebar menu. Now locate the video that you are going to insert into the blog post and click on the options icon. Now click on get shareable link. Creating a blog post to insert your video onto your site. Alright folks, now it is time to create the blog post where you'll insert your video. This not only has the benefit of expanding your reach, it also helps you create a backlink that increases the ranking and relevance of the video. For this example, we are going to create a blog post for our WordPress website. If you are using a different content management system, you might have to take slightly different steps, but the basic implementation applies. If you are using WordPress like us, follow these steps. Start on your site's dashboard and move to the Post tab on the left sidebar menu. Now click on the Add New option. This will open the post editor, where you'll compose your new blog post. This should be a blog post optimized to drive traffic to your video, so people watch and convert. OK, so you are going to start by composing the article title in the Add Title field. Make sure to add the main keyword or search term that you want to target, and an actionable phrase or hook. You can use the same title of your YouTube video here minus the name of your business at the end. Now you are going to compose your blog post below. A blog post to embed your video should be a maximum of 500 words to simply summarize the points in your video. Close the post with a call to action, letting readers know that they can watch the rest of the content by playing the video below. Embedding your video. Now to open a space, click on the plus icon. Now scroll down the blocks menu. Locate the Embeds tab and click on it. Next, click on the YouTube icon. Now you are going to paste the embed URL you got from your channel dashboard into the YouTube URL field. Then click on the Embed button. Awesome job! As you can see, the video is embedded at the bottom of the blog post. This is a great strategy to funnel website visitors to your videos because some of them will find the blog post by using the keywords you are targeting but might simply end watching the video instead of reading the blog post. A little trick you can use to send the viewer from the blog post page to YouTube is to use the caption field to insert a CTA. Simply click on the write a caption field and then type a watch on YouTube. Next, highlight this text and click on the link icon. Now paste the embed URL into the paste URL field and then click on apply. Let's now optimize this post with tags and a featured image before you publish it. For this, click on the Document tab in the Editor menu on the right. Now click on the Tags tab and insert your keywords and search terms into the Tags field, just like you did on YouTube. Now click on the Featured Image tab. Click on Set Featured Image. Then click on the Upload Files tab, then on Select Files, and locate the image that you'll use as a feature image on your computer. Double click on it, and then click on Set Featured Image. Publishing your post. Now that you are all said and done, click on the Publish button and confirm. And that's it! You can always repurpose your YouTube videos for your website this way, which will help you to create backlinks for your YouTube video and to add more content for your website.
cross-posting your sales video to your business's social channels. Hey there, everyone. You've just given a good boost to your YouTube business video by uploading it to your website. And now it is time to boost it through your business social channels, too. Now, you just can't drop a link to your video on Facebook and call it a day. So in this lesson, we are going to show you how to cross-post your videos the right way. Here we are going to show you how to use Facebook and Twitter, the best places to share external URLs and generate conversions out of it. Start by shortening your shareable link. The first thing that you have to do is to shorten your video link. This is an important step for two reasons. For one thing, shareable links don't look good on social posts because they're not customized and are long. Second, social media sites decrease the relevance of posts with YouTube URLs because they would rather that you upload videos directly to their platforms. Luckily, you can game that restriction with a shortened URL. The best service to shorten URLs is Bitly. To use it, simply visit bit.ly on your browser. Paste your shareable URL into the Shorten Your Link field. Now click on the Shorten button and copy the shortened link. Save this link somewhere handy so you can share it easily. Cross-posting your video on Facebook. All right, folks, let's start by cross-posting the video on Facebook. This is going to be easy. First, log into your Facebook account and go to your business page. Once on your business page, click on the Write a Post field. What you'll do now is compose a Facebook post to promote your video. Start by adding the video title as the post headline on top. Now in the space, compose a brief description of the video. Make sure to use your keywords and search terms, and to add a call to action, to ask users to click on the link to watch the video. All right, now you are going to paste your shortened video URL below this text. Facebook will fetch a link preview, so click on the close icon to cut it out of the post. What you'll do instead is to insert the video thumbnail as the post image. For this, click on the photo slash video button. Locate the thumbnail image and then double click on it to upload it. Now spell check your copy. Check that the URL is correct, that the image looks good in the preview, and then click on the post button. And that's it! The post looks incredible, and users simply have to click on the link to watch the video directly on YouTube. Cross-posting your video on Twitter. Now you are going to cross-post your video on Twitter. For this, go to your Twitter business account. Once there, click on the Tweet button. When composing your post on Twitter, the strategy is similar to Facebook. Open the post by adding the video title first. Now compose a brief description of the video below the headline, making sure to use your keywords and search terms, and to add a call to action. What you do now is to make your keywords into hashtags. Simply identify a keyword and type a hash symbol before it. In the case of search terms, Simply put each keyword in the term together and place the hash symbol. This will rank your post on searches for those terms and keywords. Now paste your shortened video URL below the text. Now click on the gallery icon to upload your thumbnail image to the post. Now spell check your post text. Make sure that the link and image are correctly inserted into the post and then click on tweet. And that's it! Now your post will benefit from exposure on Twitter too, which is one of the best places to drop external URLs. As you can see, cross-posting your videos on social media is easy, and we highly recommend that you build a strong social media audience to push your content there with these very easy steps.